Hey guys, and welcome back to Silent Hill 4 The Room. Okay, so good news, bad news. Um, I was just recording part three. I'm gonna put some stuff away in this box. And my laptop froze. So uh, the bad news is that I lost some blind gameplay footage, which I am sad about. But the good news is that this part will go a little quicker because I'm gonna know what I'm doing for all of 30 seconds, and then I'll let you guys know when I'm blind again. The hole has changed again, and I think I can hear children's voices. So the hole seems to just be getting bigger and bigger. And also, I'm super excited today because uh, I did this Luna Moth look. I did like Luna Moth wings on my eyes. And this is like the biggest like butterfly makeup I've probably ever done. Um, so I'm really excited about it, and I have my Luna Moth necklace and my Luna Moth hair clip. And let's watch uh, Henry and see where we're at now. I was actually doing really well, too, before my laptop froze. His fingers kind of look like hot dogs. Like little Oscar Mayer weenies. This is a high school simulator. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run around and go through all the rooms because some of them have notes in them. Ooh. Yep. Got pistol bullets. Graffiti. It still looks like a kid's writing. I'm being watched from the middle room. Oh, and there's a note right here. There's a sloppily written note on the ground. Lucky, I finally escaped from the cell. I decided to take a careful look around this building. The scariest place was the first floor basement. There's a kitchen in the northeast, but next door in the northwest is a death chamber. To get in there, you have to punch in the right numbers. I don't know the numbers, and it was too dark to even see the panel, so I didn't go in. Okay, this stuff is making more sense to me now that I've played it. He said he's gonna kill me? He's gonna kill me! I don't think I've actually heard him Walter's say that before. Kill me. Walter! So, kill me. Walter's the guy who wrote that uh, don't go out on our note, so I guess maybe this is another one of his victims. But this guy basically stays in that cell and he just screams, get me out of here. Okay, there's nothing in this one. I want to make sure I'm not missing any of the notes because I know I'm pretty sure there are more. Yeah, here's one. Uh, something's written. I'm sick of being watched. So that person seemed to have committed suicide because there was a noose there. Oh, and these things. I don't really know what these are. I think they have something to do with, like, all the slugs that are on the walls, but I kind of just, just whip them out. Oh, and, uh, before my laptop froze, I was talking about how Silent Hill has such good, like, ambiance. Like, whenever I'm in one of the cells, it sounds like someone's, like, walking. Like, there are shadows, like someone's walking past me, or I hear footsteps, and, uh, it's really cool. So I'm gonna go back here because I need to get to a door. Get me out. Get okay, me this door. And I need to go this way. And there's another door on the other side, but it's locked. And we need to find the key. And I'm gonna take this ladder. Because there's a bunch of like demons that are gonna punch me on like the top of that ladder. And this ladder is going to help me take the shortcut down to these stairs. I was so surprised that I saw this the first time I did. 
Saint Medallion can be equipped along with a weapon. Anti-spirit effects while held, but will eventually break. So... I'm not sure what anti-spirit means. I wonder if it's... If it has to do with a certain spirit. Like, if it has to do with those things slapping me. Or if it has to do with, like, the floaters. Because when I think of spirits, I think of, like, those... The ones that float. So, I'm interested in what that is. There's bugs in here, but... It's the key! Take the key? Yes. You got the water prison exit key. Up is carved into it. So... And then there's this door. Okay, and then here's what's interesting, right? The transformer isn't working. So I think that has to do with, like, I don't know, getting water or something. But there's this giant door. I can't open it very wide. So I can't open this giant door and I think I need to power up a mechanism. Or solve a puzzle too. And I think that when I do, it might be a boss fight. Because it seems like it would be. Because that's a giant, giant door. You know? And I'm gonna try to ignore these bugs. They're, they can actually be really fast. And I'm gonna go back up here, because now that we have that key, I know where to go. And I was really- I did really good last time I was here. Oh my gosh. So, I can hear the- the demons, basically. But they're up on that other floor, trying to get me when I'm down on this floor, so that's why we can hear them. Okay, so... So I need to go back up this ladder. Okay. And then... So I just used the key to open the door that was right across. And... I can go up these ladders because either way... Um, like if I went that other way it would have actually taken me here. If I just, like, went up the... Grating, I guess? Okay, so there's a note here. Let me get it. Let me get it. Ah, there's something written on the paper. It still looks like a kid's writing. I peed in my pants. I gotta wash them so nobody finds out. Oh, I just saw a shadow. I think someone saw me. Oh gosh. Oh yeah, there's those things. So these things are just weights now. I don't want them to do anything. It doesn't it doesn't seem like they do anything to me, but I just don't trust it, so I just wanna make sure I don't run into them. And I don't accidentally, like, lose health over them, you know? Okay, so the lock... What is he looking at? I think he's just looking at the slug. Oh. <laughs> Gross! Okay. Okay, there's a book here. It's a diary. I've been watching the surveillance room's peephole the whole time, and sometimes he's there. I can tell because I see a shadow move or hear his footsteps. Okay, so it might be Walter in the surveillance room because that would make sense, right? So there's a bunch of jars in here. The bottle's filled with black powder. So I don't know what that means, but there's that. Very broken slugs. We were already in here. Okay, so now- oh my gosh, the slug got me. I ran into the slug. They never got me before. And so now we're gonna go even further up in here. Here's where I meet something terrifying, I'm pretty sure. So there's- 
all sorts of books here, but we can't read any of them. But there's graffiti here. I'm a boy genius, and I figured out the answer to the surveillance room puzzle. It's light and water. Light and water. I need to remember that. I think I forgot. But there's a... There's a Siamese baby thing here? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's so creepy. Okay, and I need to go in that hole, but before I do, I want to explore the other rooms. But look at that. Look at it. Absolutely not. You know what I mean? And I'm really sad that I didn't get my blind reaction to this thing, because that thing is scary. It's so giant. Okay, please don't. Yeah, I don't want that thing getting back up. Absolutely not. Oh, there- Is there multiple holes in all of them? There's something written on the paper. Now it will look like I'm sleeping. Huh? Were those footsteps? I wonder if they saw me. Oh, he put his clothes there to look like he's sleeping. Okay, cool. That's fun. Oh my god, there's another one? Whoa! Wow, there's two of them. Can I get him? Oh, I actually can. That's useful knowledge. I actually forgot when I first did this. I just jumped down the first hole that I saw. I didn't even explore these rooms. So this is blind. So that's awesome. There's graffiti here. I want to hide, but I can't hide. Okay. Anyway, there's another one. I, I like how they just point at me like, Hey! You there! I'm about to kick your ass. Whoa! Okay, come on, Henry. I need you to stomp them, okay? Sweetie, I need you to stomp them so that they don't get back up, Henry. So that they don't do that. Oh my god. <sighs> they they do a lot of damage. I have been hit by them before. They do a lot of damage. Oh wow. That's a lot of them. I've never been in these rooms because I just went through the first hole I saw. Because it's Silent Hill, you know what I mean? You just go down holes once you see them. It's a diary. This might give me stuff that I should know. We had beef stew yesterday. In the cafeteria, I heard there's a death chamber behind the kitchen. And they take meat straight from the dead people and cook it. That really scared me. Mm. That makes sense. It's a diary. I'm in trouble. I stood in front of the surveillance room and yelled as loud as I could, but nobody came out. Mm. Okay. Okay, so that's where I came in. So I'm gonna go down the first hole that I see now because I have explored all the rooms. Ooh. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. It's a hole. Jump in. Yes. It's time to jump in it. Jump in it. Jump in it. Bow, 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 bow. Time to jump in it. Jump in it. Jump in it. <laughs> There's so many holes. Okay. That should be the last hole. And oh my god! There's chickens! There's chickens. It's still scary because they're huge. You know what I mean? They're huge. And they do a lot of damage and I hate them and I don't like them at all. Okay. Alright, and these are locked. I'm pretty sure this door takes me back out to this big staircase. But this is where I was at before. This is a puzzle that I did, didn't solve yet because I my laptop froze. Okay, so. This place continues to deteriorate. The doors to a number of cells no longer open. As a result, the kids inside can no longer go outside. But the less they know about that, the better. 
I can't open the doors, but from this room I can watch them get more and more emaciated each day. With no food and never showering themselves, they turn into smelly little gray lumps in there. Following the suggestion of an engineer, we've disposed of the corpses by digging a hole below the cells. Since each floor of this building can be rotated independently, we can dispose of the bodies without the others noticing by aligning each cell with the body in it vertically. P.S. Chief, I bet you're just dying to see the interrogation room behind the kitchen. I understand your feelings, but have you noticed? There are three rooms with bloody beds. One is on the first floor, one is on the second floor, and one is on the third floor. If you line those three rooms up, then it's bingo. So that's what I was doing before. And I'm just going to check right here. So to the left, that's the bloody bed. To the left of the desk is the bloody bed. And you're going to see why that's important. So we're going to go up. And here's another note. To keep a close eye on the kids, it's important to keep the cells well lit. The lights on the third floor were originally bought as searchlights. As a precaution against a blackout, they were set up to run on a private generator. There's a hydroelectric generator in the basement. To light up the first and second floors, use the corpse disposal chutes. Search, uh, Since each floor of this building can be rotated, you can light up any of the cells by matching up the holes. Repeating this periodically is an effective way to keep the kids fearful and well-behaved. Hmm. Any of the cells by matching... Oh, I can light up the cells by matching up the holes. Interesting. P.S. Chief, if you turn the handle in the middle of this room, you can easily rotate the cells. You can't rotate the first floor, so align the second and third floors with the first floor cell that has the bloodstained bed. By the way, if you use the peephole in this room, it's easy to make sure you're doing it right. Give it a try. Also, please don't forget to open the sluice gate on the roof. Much appreciated, Chief. Okay, not sure to open mm -hmm. the gate on the roof. But if I'm right, I think this hole has the bloody bed. It does. Okay. And then here, I turn it right twice. And it should be lined up. And... As soon as I lined it up was when my laptop froze. So, it'll be blind after I line this up. So the bloody bed should be here now. It is, okay, awesome. Okay, I saved all my progress so that if anything happened, let me get this ladder. And then I'd start back from where I am. Okay, so this is all blind now. I haven't gone up here yet. It's some kind of memo. The secret number for getting through the door in back of the kitchen this month is 0302. Thanks for your cooperation. Okay, that's good to know. Is there a turny thing? Okay, there is. So, if I'm right, I'm going to need to line it up. There's no desk here, but I'm guessing I need... The bloody bed to be here. So I'm gonna check this way. Cause it oh gosh. Cause it was to the left last time. So maybe it's to the right this time. The bloody bed. Okay. Hmm. So the bloody bed is right there. So I think I just need to turn it to the right. Oh my gosh, I was right. Well, I must have done it. I think it's supposed to be not here, but here? Uh... No, I don't think that's right, is it? Or... Is here? Yeah, so that's where the bloody bed is. And... Okay, so that's... Right, okay, so that's to the right of that red thing. 
So let me look for that red thing down here to be sure. It's the right of that. Yeah, yeah, because the desk is right. Okay. Okay, so I did the puzzle correctly. So now, um, what I need to do is I need to go to one of the bloody cells. Stay in there. God, please. Come on, let me out of here. So I don't to die in here. Make me stay in there, Walt. Walt, I'm telling you, stay down. Walk away. Walter? <gasps> Is that Walter? <laughs> the little kid? Who is that boy? And who are you? His name's Walter. No way. Walter Sullivan. I used to work at the orphanage oh. watching the kids. I'm Andrew DeSalvo. They tried to make it seem like an orphanage, but according to that town's holy scriptures, it was actually the center of their religion. And that kid, Walter, he was really into that mumbo jumbo. Especially that descent of the Holy Mother business. It was scary. Oh God, oh, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, oh don't do this to me. Alright, I seem to be fine. Okay, so what I need to do is do I need to go up this ladder? Or is this the wrong way? Oh my god, yeah. That's what I needed to confirm if it was the wrong way. Okay, right, I need to go through this door. Okay, so I need to go to the, one of those cells. I'd really like to save first. Did I read you guys this? It's a sloppily written note. To get to the surveillance room in the middle of the complex, you have to use the corpse disposal chutes in the cells. However, on the first and second floors, these cells are locked. That's so the kids wouldn't discover them. So you have to get to the first floor from one of the cells on the third floor. I know how to do it, but it's really a pain. Also, the lights only work on the third floor. Okay, so I forgot to read you guys that one, but I'm going to go ahead and save. And last time I went to the apartment, when my laptop froze, there was stuff there. So, so I think this part won't be blind because there's going to be apartment stuff that I have seen before. Right, so the TV randomly turned on, and I can't turn it off, which sucks because it's so loud. But there's a note here. There's a scrap of red paper stuck in here. Lately I've been feeling like my life is in serious danger. I've been through a lot in my life, but I've never felt this kind of pure animal fear. In case something happens to me, I've decided to write down what I've learned for whoever you are that's living in the apartment now. I've been investigating the mass murder that took place seven years ago, in which ten people were killed in ten days. They were killed in a variety of ways, but one thing they had in common was that each corpse had the following numbers, in order of their deaths, carved into them. So it looks like 11, 21, 31, 41, 51, 61, 71, 81, 91, 101. The name of their killer, it was carved in as well. His name was Walter Sullivan, April 4th. So apparently that's that kid, and it's also the guy telling us don't go out, right? So there's something going on here. So last time I looked out, it looked like he was just staring at my door, but this time it must be randomly generated. It looks like he's arguing with 
Probably Eileen, because Eileen's right next to us. And when I looked in this people, Eileen was just chilling on the bed. The bunny <laughs> hadn't looked at me yet. Okay, she's like watching TV or something. She was not doing that when I checked before. So it must be random. But I'm gonna save. So that's uh, the save I had when I... Uh, my laptop froze. And now everything is completely blind. Okay. So what I'm thinking we need to do is, luckily I forgot to read that note because it told me that that I needed to line up the chutes, right? And that the, the doors were locked for uh, the first and second floor chutes. So that means I need to go to the third floor. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Gosh, it's bright as heck out here. So this is probably the first floor, I would assume. So this would be the second. And this would be the third. No, no, this is the very top. The door went open. It seems like it's locked from the inside. Oh, I've never been here. So this is the tippity top. This must be something we need to access to get the water flowing or something. Oh, turn the handle? Okay. Maybe that opens that huge door that we saw before. I forget exactly where that door is, actually. Now let me think about it. Okay, so that's gonna power that thing, I'm guessing. I'm glad I walked around, because I would have just left. <laughs> if not, the door was locked. Okay. So... Okay, so this is the third floor. Oh my gosh. Oh. Was I stupid to turn the water on? Now I need to find the bloody bed. I hope I didn't just ruin things by turning the water on. I feel like I didn't, but I don't know. Okay, this bed is not bloody, so I don't need to go down that chute. This bed is bloody. Okay. So this should lead us to... Wait. This bed doesn't look bloody to me. The lock is broken, I can't open the door. Well, I lined it up right, right? So hopefully it's correct. Oh no! Oh no, did I not line it up right? I swear I did though, I swear. This isn't right. It's to the left of the desk. Oh yeah. That one's to the left of the desk and I think I put it to the right. Wait, is the desk in a different place every time? Maybe I didn't do it right. Because I think... Hold on, let me look at where that red dot is down downstairs. So I guess I got that guy out, but I don't think I did it right. Okay, so red dot, right? One, two to the right. Bloody bed, okay. So it's two to the right of that red dot. It's like a fire alarm or something. So one, two. I was using the desk, but I was wrong. Okay, so if I'm right, this one's here. Okay. One, two, so I need to turn it to the right twice again. Okay, 
let's turn it to the right again. Okay, so. Red dot, two to the right. Okay, yes, the bloody bed is there now. Let's go back up. Okay, so dot, two to the right. Is the dot messing me up? Let's turn it to the right again. I think this one's just one to the right. I don't know if they're... If they're putting the dot in a different place every time to mess me up too. You know what I mean? Oh! You know what the light's on? Yeah, so I think that I lined them all up correctly this time. Let me go down the slider. So, um, I'm gonna go up to the third floor and hopefully we can find that room. And I'm thinking because it's lit up, I must have did it right. Well, wait a second. To the right, the door won't open. It seems like it's the right. That one's locked. I'm trying to remember where the, um... I'm trying to remember where the, that big door was. Oh, you know what? It was down there. It was at the very bottom where all the bugs are. Yeah. Okay, but... Mmm. Should I? Mmm. No, I think I'll just I'll just go on this path for now and then we can check out the giant door later. Because right now I know I'm onto something because the room was lit up. And I'm pretty sure I aligned the doors correctly this time. So now I just need to find the bloody bed. Okay, that's not a bloody bed. Okay, there's just a shirt there. I think this is it, maybe? Nope, it's the books. That's not the bloody bed. Is it? This is the bloody bed. Okay. So, if I line it up correctly, hopefully we'll see two more bloody beds. Oh, yes! That's a bloody bed. And then we'll get down to the bottom of uh, the kitchen. There's another bloody bed. I lined it up right. Okay, thank goodness. Maybe I lined it up right the first time, but then it changed. You know what I mean? Huh. Okay, there's a plate on the door. Mm -hmm. Move the plate. Yes, you got the watchfulness placard. Okay. So, I remember it was 0302. I did it! Please don't give me a boss fight, because I am not prepared. I don't even remember how to switch my weapons, so... <laughs> I don't know about this. Henry, please stop making me nervous. Oh. Oh, it's another murder. 18121. Why is it. Why. Why is it becoming a seizure? Why is everything fuzzy and blinking? It's loading. Are we gonna go back to our apartment? 
But I, I needed to know what was behind that giant door. We are in our apartment. Wait, but maybe I should have checked the giant door first because I turned the water on, right? I don't know if I can go back to that world anymore because it'll just jump to the next world like no problem. Huh. Oh my gosh, what? Oh, it sounds like it's coming from our laundry room. Can't open the door. Okay, there's a note here, though. There's a scrap of red paper stuck in here. I found something that's extremely effective against the ghosts. It, it saved my life. It was stuck into the huge rock in the woods near the orphanage. It's a sword blade with a handmade triangle-shaped wooden handle that has some kind of spell written on it. In the woods near the orphanage. As a weapon, it's heavy and hard to carry, but somehow it seems to change in response to the ghost victim's power. Strike when the sword is energized. If you don't reduce their power, your attacks will be repelled. As far as I know, there are only five swords in existence with that kind of power. It's extremely valuable. July 23rd. So I need to go to the orphanage world, but I'm not sure how to do that. I swear I hear water. Is it not from here? It's really not? Is it out... Outdoors? Oh, it must be my bathroom. That would make sense. Okay, he's fighting. Yeah, I'm gonna do my checks. And then we'll save and go to the bathroom. <laughs> Alright, she's watching the TV as per usual. I'm going to save. Alright, you guys, I'm going to end this part there. And in the next part, we're going to figure out why we hear so much water running.